Hi everybody. Welcome to Fluid Art by Christine. So, getting ready to do another painting. I've actually done this same color combo a long time ago and it didn't come out very well. But since then I've learned a lot more about pouring medium and ratios and I feel like if I try this color combo again, I'm going to get better results. So the pouring medium I used today is uh, Elmer's Glue Wall, 12 ounces, Floetrol, 6 ounces, GAC, six, um, GAC 800, um, 3 ounces. Mix that all together, and um, that's the pouring medium. So <clears throat> the ratio on two, four, five. The ones that are not flow acrylic is a, um, it's not one to three. It's like one part paint to three and a half parts, uh, pouring medium. So it's not quite one to four. It's, um, halfway in between. <laughs> so I wanted to give that a try. Except the flow acrylic, when I mixed up the gold, this this gold right here, um, it was really thin and it was so much different than the others. So I had to go ahead and make this like a one to three. Uh, and uh, that seems to be the same. It's important that you that they all feel the same and look the same because it can cause lumps and bumps and things like that when it dries. And then of course the Flow Artist Loft white um, cup of that. And okay, so the colors are Artist Loft Ultramarine. This one, of course, the gold, full acrylic gold. And Artist Loft Metallic Blue. Love that one. The Basics Quinacridone Magenta. Basics Cadmium Yellow Light Hue. And Artist Loft Copper. I don't know which order I'm going to pour these in. I think it might be this order. So I'm going to give this... A shot, guys. Wish me luck. Okay, see you in a minute, and we'll get started. Ah, so I have this lovely gallery wrapped. Look how clean it is back here. It's beautiful gallery wrapped, 12 by 24, which means I am very hopeful that this is going to come out. I'm excited because I've got a mix of uh, metallics, but three metallics which are the gold, copper, and metallic cobalt blue, and the three non-metallics, which is the bright yellow, the magenta, and the ultramarine blue. And of course the white, that's not, um, that's not metallic. So, you know, everybody always says this, and it is true that uh, working with metallics is harder. You don't get the same effects, but I'm gonna get it with a try anyway. It's been a while since I used metallics, so I'm hopeful. All right, let's get started. Now I plan on only using the white on the ends of the, um, of the six. So it's white and then six colors and then white and you know however many I go usually it's about three First metallic goes in, copper, right on the gold. So today was a holiday, Martin Luther King, kids were home from school. And 
and uh, I got to spend some time with them, which is really nice. All my kids except one and that has a job. Of course, they're part-time jobs, um, except for the, well, the 21 year old. And my daughter's 14. It's really difficult to get a job when you're 14. There are places out there that hire at that age, but um, she came to work with me. She's been coming to work with me. No, I, I have a cleaning business, Christine's Cleaning. I clean nice residential homes around the town and I'm very, very busy. I've been at it for like six years. And, um, you know, all the homes are very nice. And so she's been coming to work with me off and on since she was 12. <laughs> you know, you're never too young to clean. Right, guys? Teach them how to clean when they're young. Now, you would never know it by the state of her room half the time. But she can clean when she's getting paid for it. That's the trick. They're getting paid for it. It's a whole different story. Now I'm sandwiching the blue on one side and then white and then yellow. Um, I don't want green in this. At least very little green if it has to happen. But this is kind of a green. And it is isn't it. So even if I get an off color green, I think it'll go. It'll work. Oops. <gasps> Went out of order. Okay. Not the end of the world. This is a really bright yellow. Now I did this similar, or if not, V1. I think the only difference might be the yellow the color combo back. I think it was video number 40. You guys, now you're going to go watch it. Don't. Don't watch it. I'm thinking about taking some of my earlier videos down. Guys, don't laugh at me. Okay? I was learning. And I never claimed to be an expert in any of those videos. But and I still don't claim to be an expert but I just love this hobby I love making art I can't draw with a crap so that kind of fine art is out of my reach and um, the beauty of abstract is uh, to the beholder, the beauty, the, you know, whoever's looking at it, what they see and feel. And that's what I love about it. I love making it, I love looking at it, I love experimenting, seeing what will happen if I do, you know, whatever. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did finally remember. I just quick sprayed the cups when they were empty and then I wiped it out with paper towel because um, I didn't want it to be too thick, just enough to help it come out. I hope my pink doesn't sink. Kind of been doing that lately. I put pink in it and it doesn't stand out that much. So 
So I'm hoping that this pink shows up. Comes out for the party. You guys get bored of watching me layer you can always fast forward to the good part Just enough for all the cups three times. Am I good or what? Let's see how we do on the others. <laughs> if I have extra, I I never want to throw my extra paint away. It's like I should make another one with it. All right, I made it three times with that one too. Oh my God, you guys. You know what? Maybe it's meant to be. I was thinking about doing it anyway. You're not going to believe what I did. I didn't add the silicone. <gasps> you know what? I'm not crying over it. I swear to God. Oh my God. Let me have a minute. I have to absorb what I have just mistake I have made. I forgot to put in the spot on treadmill, but you know what? I don't care. I have been wanting to do a pour without cells. And I am going to go with it. I can't change it now. Don't laugh at me, guys. Dang it. <laughs> let's, see what, let's see what happens. You know? See what happens. It's gonna be no cells. Well, I doubt it. If I had known. That was poor planning, Christine. I swear, okay, I'm not gonna beat myself up over it. It could wind up turning out really cool. And metallics don't like silicone anyway. They get weird cells. And that's actually what I was thinking about was maybe I should do metallics without without silicone. And maybe this could be a happy accident. Power of positive thinking, people. Oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. This may be a whole new thing for me. <laughs> I have been thinking about it. I wasn't quite sure how to approach it though. So this would be a good way to start. Okay. <laughs> 
because we focus so much on cells, so much on cells, always the cells. And this art is so much more than just cells. I don't know if I'm going to use my gallery wrap though. I'm going to switch it. All right, I'm going to get my canvas ready, guys, and then we're going to do this uh, no cells, no silicone pour. Do, do, do. See you in a minute. All right, here we go. So usually when I pull down, I kind of do this arch and pull it up, which creates um, a kind of a curvature on the bottom when I do that. So since this is no silicone, um, I really want to try to make it straight and then lift it up and I may pour alongside, but I'm going to try to keep it fairly straight. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. You know, but um, I'm going to see if I can do that because this is a no silicone pour, unless you count the little bit that I put on the bottom of the cup, which I wonder if that'll do anything. I mean, who knows? Let's see what happens. Come on down. I think the uh, art gods have decided that I needed to do a no silicone painting. <laughs> I did switch to the uh, the regular canvas though, in case it turns out terrible. I don't want to waste the gallery wrap. So, okay, here we go. So, like I said, I'm going to go straight down and see if I can that. That's a really pretty stripe. Oh my gosh. I see action happening. A little tiny bit. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh. Okay, again. Really like that yellow on that one. <sighs> Ton of that green. It's okay. Could wind up being the most amazing color. It's a pretty green. Oh my gosh. I see. It's probably air bubbles what I'm looking at. <laughs> Making cells with air bubbles. Good job. All right, so I'm going to do my usual uh, with the torch. 
and uh, see what happens. If anything, get rid of the air bubbles. See the teeniest tiny little specks coming up. Very interesting. I mean, I'm not expecting the. I'm gonna do my usual uh, rock and roll here. Way of the paint nice and centered and I'm gonna go towards you guys Golly, I love that one right there, that bright one. Alright, I'm going to spin it around. Let's see. Let's get that. Sorry guys if you can't see, I'm taking care of this last little corner over here. Sure does feel a whole lot different when you don't have to worry about saving cells. I don't know what I think I have to absorb. Should I torch it again? I don't think it would hurt anything if I did. You know what else? I don't see hardly any gold or copper happening in this at this time. A lot of it has sunk.
air bubbles are popping and leaving uh, freckles of color. Uh, they are little freckles. But uh, we're talking mostly background. I've got some cells over here. Probably the little bit of cells that I got was from the tiniest bit of when I sprayed the pups. Wow. This part right here is super cool. I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close-up. I don't think it's gonna look much different close-up because of the uh, lack of cells, but uh, give you guys a different vantage point. Okay, so here it is. Oh my God, guys, I like it. It's so pretty. All that gorgeous background. This is a part I like right here. Got a little bit of cells and they're ringed. Gotta go really close to them. But look at that. Oh, oh I like it. Oh, I feel like this is a win. Guys. Wow. I'm happy. I'm happy this happened. <laughs> awesome, guys. Well, I'm gonna show it to you dry. I don't know if I'm gonna wait or what. Sometimes I wait, and sometimes I don't. And um, But you'll see it dry at some point, the end of this video or the end of the next video. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. If you want to see more like this, subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Happy pouring!